bless your name tonight. We give you all the praise and all the glory. We pray that you accept our worship and our praises tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank you, most high God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. God bless you. You may please be seated. You're all welcome, especially tonight to this Holy Communion service in the month of Biazo, the month of taking things by force. I want you to celebrate with one another. Turn to your right, turn to your left to welcome someone specially to the table of the Lord tonight. You have come to dine with the Lord. Welcome someone specially in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is the season of Biazo. This is the conference, Biazo in his glory. And I trust that even as you have come tonight, the Lord God Almighty, who you have come to meet with, will meet with you in the name of Jesus. If you are excited to be at his table tonight, put your hands together for Jesus. Celebrate someone. Turn to your right, turn to your left, and say, welcome to the table of the Lord tonight. Welcome to Biazo 2017. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. How many of you have a plan to live here full and fulfilled in the name of Jesus? You have purposed in your mind that you are coming to the table with the Lord and you have things in your heart beyond the meal that he's going to feed you with tonight that you want done for you. I want to assure you that God will meet with you in the name of Jesus. The Lord in this season of his glory will meet with you in the mighty name of Jesus and you will experience a newness of his glory in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. We'd like to welcome some people specially, perhaps tonight is your very first time of being in Jesus House D.C., we would like to acknowledge you. If that is you, your very first time of attending a service or being a part of a service at Jesus House DC, if you don't mind, please rise to your feet. Please, church, let's clap for these wonderful and special people. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for being a part of this season of Biazo. Please, while you remain standing, some of our ministers will come around and give you some material, just some information about the church. On behalf of our senior pastor, Pastor Ghani and Pastor Omar Olaoye, we welcome you to this Biazo conference and we welcome you to this Holy Communion service. Church, let's celebrate these wonderful people. Let's clap and celebrate them. God bless you. Thank you so much for taking time out this evening to be a part of what God has in mind to do for us tonight. And my prayer for you is that even as you have come, the Lord will speak to you in the name of Jesus. You will live here fulfilled. You will live here with a word, a direction from God that will launch you into the plan and purpose of God for your life this year in the name of Jesus. Church, once again, let's celebrate these wonderful people. If you are seated next to them, welcome them specially. Welcome them specially. Welcome them specially. And I guess we'd like to just uh, let you know that if you're passing through, we thank you for visiting, but perhaps you're looking for home church, a place where you can call home. We'd like to we welcome you specially and invite you specially in this month of Biazo to please consider this a home church for yourself. You will be blessed as you do so in the name of Jesus. Church, once again, let's celebrate these wonderful people. Amen and amen. At this time, we're going to take the announcements uh, that's going to continue to inform us about the things happening in Jesus House DC during this season of Biazo through the Good News Network. Please be listening and be blessed. like she has no cares she looks like she has no concern and that's the person who is sitting next to you they look good on the outside but if the truth be told they are concerned about something on the inside but God orchestrate haven't seen and God's gonna bring it to pass just what he promised because he is a promise keeper and really he's already done what he said he would do you just haven't realized it yet the Bible tells me that the remnant has escaped from the house of Judah shall again take roots downwards 